on tap, Duval. Hi, I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Today, we're talking about Duval from the Duval Marcotte Brewery in Brendonk, Belgium. The brewery was founded in 1871, and Duval was created to commemorate the end of World War I. It was initially named Victory Ale, but renamed Duval in 1923. Duval is derived from the Flemish word for devil, as in, this is a real devil of a drink. Be cautious though, this beer looks tame, but has an ABV of 8.5% and an IBU of 30. You may be seduced by its light golden color, generous head, and unique flavor, but it will knock you on your donkey pretty quickly. This beer is a Belgian strong golden ale and has inspired numerous imitators. It comes in at number 67 on Beer Advocate's list of the top beers on planet Earth. For those who don't know, fact, Belgium is one of the best beer countries in the world. One reason for this is that throughout Belgium's complicated political history, it was never subjected to beer purity laws like Reinheitsgebot in Germany. Belgian brewers take a more artistic and experimental approach to brewing and are not constrained by traditional styles. Adam, describe this beer to us. What kind of flavors are you getting? Well, when you first drink it, it has a, first in, the, in, in your front of your mouth, you got a banana, banana flavor kind of, and, and then it's with some citrus notes, and then it goes into uh, a little bit of that spicy, the spicy hops to it. It has a little bit of a dry finish, but uh, very, very, very flavorful. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Uh, Joby, you had the honor of pouring the beers for us. Tell us about it. Well, James, you know the beer is special when they give you instructions on the carton how to pour the, how to pour the beer. So the first time I poured this, I didn't tilt the glass at all, the tulip glass here, and there was a large, large head to it. But after reading the instruction once, you know, you, you tilt the glass, you pour the beer, and there's still a very large head, at, you know, if you pour it correctly but that's the way it's supposed to be done. Uh, it's got great carbonation uh, that you can still see bubbles popping up from the bottom. So overall, the carbonation in the head of the beer is, is fantastic. Do you feel like you've mastered the art of pouring Duval? Uh, with this size tulip glass and uh, the 11.2 ounce bottle, I think I could pour with the best of them. All right, nice. <laughs> Scott, <clears throat> this beer at the store costs three fifty dollars a bottle. I mean, that's significantly more than probably the average beer costs. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, it is. I mean, it's a little bit expensive if you're looking at it, uh, comparing it to some of the other, uh, I guess, more general beers to be unnamed here. Uh, but, you know, honestly, you're getting your bang for your buck. This is a high-quality beer, 8.5% uh, ABV, like you said. So, I mean, you're drinking one of these. I think there's a reason. Joby was saying that, you know, he, th he thinks it's a special beer because they have the picture on the side to show you how to pour it. I think it's because they expect after you've had two of these that you'll need help pouring the third. <laughs> All right, Adam, what is your overall assessment of this beer? Oh, this is a phenomenal beer. I, I agree with uh, Beer Advocate saying that it's one of the best beers on the planet. Uh, I think it's got a lot of flavor to it. Um, it's, it's a nice sipping beer. You could sit and relax. Uh, I think it, when I think of it, it's it, because it's in the tulip glass. It's a nice replacement for like if you're if you're a brandy drinker or something like that. You could sit out, smoke a cigar, drink this beer in the summertime because it's nice, clean, and refreshing as well. Give it a nine. A nine. It's pretty high. Joby, what's your assessment? Well, James, as a BMC drinker, as a lot of people have called me in the uh, reviews we've gotten, I think this beer has a lot a lot of drinkability. It doesn't have much aftertaste, and it's pretty smooth. So I could see myself drinking this on special occasions, you know, Scott's Bar Mitzvah, Bar Mitzvah, you know, New Year's, graduation. But again, you're only going to have one or two of these. So um, fellow BMC drinkers out there, if you want a great beer, you want to uh, get away from your, your normal light beers and, and craft or go out into the craft world, Try a Duval, you know, but again, don't go bonging these. It'll put you on your donkey pretty quick. <laughs> Scott, they described it as like smooth. I mean, is this the kind of beer that's going to sneak up on you? Oh, well, it depends on, uh, I guess, how much you've had to drink and how quickly you're drinking it. Like uh, Joby said, if you're bonging it, you know, a man like me and you're a woman like Joby, you might have problems. <laughs> it's a great beer overall, though. I mean, I give it a nine as well. Honestly, it has, it's... A very intense uh, beer. It, it, it's not. It's, it's lack of uh, 
negativity isn't uh, saying anything bad about it. It's not a, just an average beer that doesn't have anything that we can go negative against. It's more that it presents itself so well. It has such a balanced citrus, hop, yeast. I mean, it's a great beer overall. I, I don't have anything bad to say about it. Okay. Joby, did you give us your rating? I did not, James. I would also uh, go in line with these fellas. I would also give it a nine. Great beer. Wow. Three nines. All of a sudden, we have a brand new record on the BBA. Duval gets a nine, the highest BBA rating to date. So, let us know what your favorite Belgian beer is in the comments section. And if you'd like to learn more about Belgian beers, then check out Michael Jackson's Great Beers of Belgium. I'm still working on reading it. You can find it at a bookstore near you. Thanks for watching. I'm James Knott, and this is your Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority. Better Beer Authority.